When we think of disruptive, we think, how are we going to innovate to reduce the burden to patients and investigators? DFARM was brought together to challenge the status quo and think differently about the way we do clinical trials. DFARM has done an incredible job of emerging as the conference for who is who in innovation in pharma, methodologies for clinical research and how we can make trials less expensive, take less time to execute, and much more user-friendly for patients and doctors and everybody involved. A lot of doctors never really ask me how I feel about things, but today multiple doctors have come up to me and been like, well, how can we change this or that, and what are your views on this or that? Because they actually want to know what the patient is feeling. DFARM does go deep around these development challenges. It picks up from there being a molecule that people want to develop in a given therapeutic area, and it carries us all the way through from there to getting that medicine available and in the market for others. So at a place like DFARM, it's all about pushing those conversations. And then we also have something called DFARM Idol. Companies apply to present, and they pitch why their particular product, technology, service will be disruptive. So the more examples, the faster the industry moves. Oops. What we need to decide now is what is the best solution that we think is going to disrupt. So I think this. But some it some of us might change our opinion. Do right. we have faith that they can actually leverage this position that they have? The majority can go at this point. So if everyone just said they're number one, I think we might get a very good sense, and maybe we just have a majority rule. Last year we applied to present at DFARM. We take the data from the wearable sensors, apply our analytics to draw out a real physiological insight. DFARM has done a great job of getting the decision makers in the conference. In this audience, you had scientists, you had venture capitalists, you had uh, pharma, you had people from government. If DFARM or other things for clinical trial innovation weren't there, we would all be working in silo. We wouldn't realize what other people were doing. It would take us so much longer. So it's kind of like you stop talking about it and start doing it. Patients' lives are at stake here. On the one hand, the life of the patients that join the clinical trials, on the other hand, the life of the patients that will be taking the medication in the future, and we have to be sure that it is safe and efficacious. Everybody thinks of innovation as this, you know, monstrous leap forward, but it starts with small steps, and the conference gives a nice way to, to share those hard learnings so that at least we don't have to um, all have the same hard learnings. The things that remain to be done are going to be hard and challenging, and they're going to require a fight. The people at DFARM are up for it. <laughs>